Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be using my Artisan gel paints again because I freaking love them. These are they. You get 12 in a box. You can buy, I think, the black and white as a duo. I bought the box because you get a free detailing brush, an 8mm detailing brush with it, and you know, you can't go wrong with a detailing brush. So I bought the whole box because I'm greedy and I love them. Um, I'm using. This is Naos Urban Graffiti White Gel Polish. I'm just trying to use up some of my old gel polishes. I do want to, from now on, I think I'm going to stick with Nalchemy gel polishes because oh, they have, they have, um, they've really impressed me. And so far, I'm absolutely loving their products, like to bits. So I've put a cheeky little order in for some of their plain gel colours. Um, and I'm going to try those as well. So I've just covered my nail with some Chinti's No Wipe Top Coat. Again, I'm trying to use up my old, you know, my top coats and bits. Um, I don't know if you can see there in the background. That is the bottom of my iPad. This nail that I'm doing is for a little competition on the Nailchemy Facebook group. Um, you have to hand paint or hand draw a dragonfly um, and you can win one of the goddesses which is a gel polish um, I don't mind if I win or not I mean I don't mind if I don't win that's what I meant um, because I just love doing this now whether I win or not it doesn't it makes no difference to me um, the also I don't quite know if this is gonna count because I didn't actually draw a dragonfly I drew a zoomed in part of the dragonfly wings so it might not actually count <laughs> But I found an image, so I googled dragonflies for some inspiration and I found an image of a dragonfly that was the most beautiful range of colours. It was absolutely stunning and if any of you have used Nailchemy, you'll know that their logo um, goes through like a spectrum of colours and this dragonfly reminded me of their logo so I was like, I've got to do that. And it was the perfect opportunity to use the Artisan gel paints. So with my pencil, I'm just drawing in some of the detail of the wings. I, I, I thought in this case, it would have been easier for me to add some of the detail on with a pencil and then go over it with the gel paints than what it would just to go straight in with the gel paints because I was worried that I was gonna mess it up. It, there is quite a lot of detail in these wings. They look absolutely stunning in the end. I was really pleased with this. So I'm going to show you um, the the top line. I'm just going to normally I do all of the purple bits now, but I'm going to show you the top line. What I'm going to do to the rest of the nail. I think that made sense. So I'm going in with the purple. Then I'm going to blend in the pink, the white that I've got on that little shiny form. Um, that is the that's Nao's white gel polish. I didn't. I'm trying to use up some old things, so I don't want to waste too much of my Nalchemy gel paints if I if I don't have to. So instead of using the white gel paint, I thought I'd just use some of that white gel polish. Um, I kind of wanted a lighter green, but actually when I put the green on it, it I don't know what, it wasn't as dark as I thought it was going to be. But these these are really pigmented gel paints. They're lovely. So I've you can see I've gone in with the green now and then I'm going to blend in the yellow and then there's not enough room on this top line but if there was room I would then go in with the orange but you'll see me doing that further down the nail so that's what I'm going to do all the way down the wings so I've sped this part up quite considerably because it did it did take me a little while to to do this I don't think I'd concentrated so much in my life for a long time. <laughs> so I'm going to start down that right hand side of the nail, or is it the left hand side? Depends which way around you've got the nail, um, with the purple. Then I'm going to go in with the pink and I'm going to continue that all the way down. Just blending it in with that purple. That purple's so nice. I, I'm a purple fan, me. And then I will go in with the green. See, look, it's looking good already, isn't it? I thought, I just love this nail. If 
if I do say so myself. <laughs> Then I'm going to blend the yellow into the green and then I'm going to put a little bit of the orange. Oh, I tried to lighten the orange by mixing the yellow with it. So there we go. So you can see I've blended the colours together and oh, just, I, I think it's so pretty. But I do, I tell you what though, I've got a thing about dragonflies and do you know what I've seen so many lately? Every, I've just seen, it's been, re it's really weird. I've seen so many dragonflies. And um, this gel polish I'm using here is called Pearl and it's from Chinti's. Um, it's a kind of, it's just gonna give the wings a nice sort of pinky shimmer. I'm just gonna use my brush to go over the, oh, I have cured the gel paints for a minute in my lamp. You didn't see that, but I did do it, I promise. Otherwise they'd be ruined now. <laughs> So I'm going to give this two coats of the pearl gel polish. And then they get the, the gel polish then gets cured for 30 seconds. So you can see it's got a nice sort of pinky pearly finish to it. Um, and then because I wanted the, I wanted the wings to still look shiny, but I wanted them on the matte background because I thought that made a really nice sort of contrast. Um, I'm using my detailing brush again just to go over the wings with some no white top coat and I'm going to cure that for a minute because I was using my CBD no white top coat I think. And then this is the finished nail. I was going to put some crystals on but I, I thought it just looked, I, I just liked it as it was. I didn't think it needed anything else. So if you were doing a set, you could kind of continue the wings on. But yeah, I hope you like this video. Um, if you did, please leave me a like. Um, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And don't forget to check out Nelkami's website. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.